Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 25th of August comes to you from London. Uh, dollar is sinking a bit lower here this morning. This is the long term, medium term and short term view of the market, weekly, daily and 60 minute charts and the corresponding point and figure target. So we are just seeing that dollar weakness hitting a bit of resistance at the previous level. Uh, so no big surprises there, but it does look like it will break slightly higher, which it did on the um, weekly chart. So we are seeing the makings of a higher low and a higher high. So that's quite key. The euro sinking lower, lower on the medium term chart, but has just found a little bit of um, short term um, bullishness whilst that dollar uh, hits resistance. Sterling sitting at 137.36. Uh, so up against that weaker dollar and the euro uh, against the euro sterling is actually just climbing as a little bit as well in sympathy. Uh, looking at Bitcoin, we've fallen back through that 50,000 mark. So we're at uh, 47,000. Um, but the trend on the short term chart is definitely bullish. We're just seeing a little bit of short term bearishness creeping in. $83,000 is still the target there. The S&P 500 index edged higher yesterday uh, and is back to uh, levels that were higher than last week. So that's good news. The trend continues. The same for the Nasdaq, of course. We are just seeing pushing higher, making new highs. Uh, so whilst markets are fearful, the fact is we are making new highs. The futures, little change this morning, which suggests a flat opening. The Nasdaq E-mini up 0.14%. Uh, the VIX volatility has fallen back to 17, so we're back into relaxed mode on the fear index. The FTSE futures up quarter percent this morning. The DAX in Germany is little changed. The CAC current up 0.28. Uh, markets are generally flat. We're seeing Tokyo was up 0.02%. Hang Seng was down slightly. Chinese equities actually looking a little bit better, recovering a lot of the losses that we saw at the end of last month um, to get back into bullish territory there. So that uh, worry is uh, less there now. And the Indian market continues to edge higher. Um, with some big upside targets there to play for. Uh, the Aussie market was up slightly. Uh, we'll look at the energy mix in a minute. We're seeing crude oil is lower this morning and we're seeing most commodities are actually lower. Sugar down half a percent, wheat down 0.7 percent. Still looking very bullish on the long term chart but just hitting that resistance level there as well. And corn also lower. Uh, gold is down slightly at 1794, just couldn't hang on to the $1,800 mark, but it is still uh, just holding on to the short term bullish trend there, so that's quite key. Silver uh, is lower, down a quarter of a percent this morning, uh, but again, holding on to the short term bull trend. Uh, and we're seeing quite big moves in palladium lately, uh, it's down 1.7% this morning, having really tumbled last week. Uh, that's the weekly candle there we're seeing. Still long term bullish, but just having um, a real sell off there. US 10 year yields um, sitting at 1.29%. They're looking more bullish. Uh, so uh, that's quite interesting with the short term bullishness there, holding maybe support on that longer term weekly chart. Looking at the energy mix, we've got Brent crude up. It was up yesterday and the day before quite strongly. This morning, we're just hitting the buffers. This cloud could become resistance. I've kept the, uh, the daily chart just as a line chart here, just to highlight the higher low, sorry, the lower high and then the lower low. The fact that we fell through this low gives us the lower low. So that lower low has been made and that lower high has been made until we break above that previous high, 76.40 let's say, uh, and ultimately the, 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 the high that we saw back in um, uh, July, which is about 77, until we break those levels, we do have this uh, structurally lower high, lower low going on. So that is a little bit of concern still. We are seeing the short term recovery, but notice the absence of one minute targets. Short term, we're not seeing buying thrusts. The same applies to WTI, of course. And if we look at some of the other charts, not so bad in European energy this morning. Coal sitting at 107. That's definitely recovered. Emissions up half a percent, just really range bound at the moment there on emissions. And that's really what we have to wait for is that break. When we do get that break, it's potentially going to be quite explosive. 
uh, out of that range, but that's the range at the moment, say 49.80, let's say 50, and 57.80, let's say 58. That's the range, quite a range, um, and that's been going on for a few months now. That's what we have to wait for. Again, a shortage of short-term targets there. UK emissions, uh, obviously less history here, but uh, still holding on to their bullish short-term chart. Gas prices really rebounded yesterday, up nearly 10% on MBP and TTF. We're seeing that big daily candle there. Good news that they're able to hold those gains and go a little bit higher today. But again, the lower high is looming. So we need to see gas prices making a new high before we can call that. And volatility towards the end of a trend is always something to worry about. TTF, much the same picture. We're not yet back above the cloud. Uh, we do have some quite good short-term targets. This one not activated though. 47.75, we'd need a new high to activate that. Uh, and 49 uh, would get us to a new high. So that's quite significant. But note the shortage of min uh, targets on the daily chart. And if we go lower, we activate a big downside target. Taking a look at German power, we're up 0.4% this moment, uh, looking better this morning, just wandering out of the cloud. That's looking stronger, and we've got good upside targets, 85.20, 88.20. Keep an eye on your OTC data for that. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you.